Farmer from Stockbridge, Michigan. We are non-organic farmers. We are conventional. A large percent of the dairy farmers in Michigan that I know of are non-organic or conventional. Most of our antibiotics are only used for treatment of health problems. Uh, organic farmers can use cannot use any uh, antibiotic or any drugs to treat their cows or for any problems. So that's why we have chose not to do that. Um, I personally think that if a cow gets sick, I think that you can give her something to treat her, make her better. It's, it's, more, or it's, it's more beneficial than not being able to treat her at all and letting, you know, just letting her be sick or get over, try to get over it on her own. So sometimes we do have to give our uh, cows or animals antibiotics. Um, mostly, mostly we do dry treat. We do treat our cows at dry off. We infuse their udders with an antibiotic that protects them from getting infection while they're not milking. Every cow has a month, 30 to 45 day dry period where they don't milk. It's like a rest time before they have their calf and then they start milking again, so they're not milking continuously. Um, that's one time that they are given an antibiotic. Um, other than that, we do not give our cows antibiotics unless they are have a surgery or they have some invasive action we have to take, something that's gonna open them up to infection, um, which is, I think we probably gave uh, antibiotic, which is usually penicillin or polyflex, which is a um, uh, synthetic penicillin basically. I think we gave one cow penicillin last month. So we only, we really don't treat with antibiotics very much at all. Out of 200 cows, one cow got it all the month last month. So. Okay, the biggest myth is you're, gonna, you're buying DST free milk in the store, that's a myth, because all milk has BST. It's a naturally occurring hormone in each cow. Um, their body produces it every day. It's in the milk every day. Our BST was popular when it first came out back in the mid 2000s, like 2005 or 2007, somewhere around there. It's a synthetic form of the same hormone that was made, that people gave to their cows in a shot and it would basically just double the hormone or increase the hormone level which made them eat more which in turn when they eat more they make more milk. So now we are all, our, uh, our co-op which is a pretty large percentage of Michigan is BST free. We signed our BST free which is the synthetic form. Um, so no one uses that anymore really at least no one I know. Well, they tried it for a little bit. It was very time consuming, labor intensive, and the return on investment really wasn't worth the time that we put into it. We never used it. I know people who did and none of them use it anymore because we're all our BST free now. So. Another misconception is that uh, um, organic milk is better for you or has more nutrients in it, which is um, not a fact. Um, actually, the um, omega-3s are a little bit higher, I think, in organic milk, but um, not noticeably. I know it takes 11 quarts of organic milk 
to equal um, like a five or eight ounce serving of salmon for omega-3s. So the difference is very small. Our milk is very highly regulated. We're tested once a month uh, we're by an inspector. Comes around once a month and checks out our equipment, our parlor. Uh, our milk is sampled daily, once a day, or every time it's picked up. The uh, tank, the whole truck, which is the whole semi load of milk, is checked every day it's uh, before it's unloaded for safety of drug residue, any antibiotic. Our bacteria count is checked every day, and also our somatic cell, which is like uh, an infection that cows can get in their udder which downgrades the milk quality. So let's check for that every day before the tanker's unloaded. Um, if the milk, if the semi is tested and it's positive for antibiotics, it's dumped immediately. Never put in with any of the other milk that's made into the bottled milk or cheese or cottage cheese or anything. Then it go, they go back to each individual uh, sample that's taken, they find out who had the infected milk, and then that person has to pay for the whole semi. So we're very diligent to make sure that we do not ever put any antibiotic milk into our tank, which goes to the dairy. If we ship an antibiotic load is about $50,000, so it's we don't do it for the money.